Hello everybody, it's Under My Cat, and welcome back to another video where today I'm going to be talking about the boss bar command in Minecraft. Now I just want to uh, say a quick thanks to Luca uh, for giving me the idea, um, but if any of you have any more ideas please leave it in the comments down below. Uh, don't forget to like and also subscribe for more content. Okay, so let's get started. So as you can see, um, the boss bar command doesn't really require command blocks because it's basically just command line. Um, you can use command box to change the values, but uh, let's just get started with the command line. So there's a few things you need to remember when it comes to the boss bar. So there's five main things. Uh, there's add, get, list, and remove set. You'll see, you'll get the list of this, and they all do a lot of things to customize the boss bar, and it's just uh, it makes it really customizable. So to actually get your first boss bar you want to get or you want to press add now what you need to do is you need to type in a random number so I'll just type in one for now and because you can't name it letters uh, you'll just name it another letter uh, another number so I'll just press one okay as you can see so now that I've pressed uh, one you can see that it's now filled in with yellow and there's nothing else I need to do except for press return and then as you can see I have created a boss bar named one now, once you create this, you can now use all the other options in the boss bar command. So, as you can see, let's move on to the get. Now, get's really simple. It just means um, get the value of the boss bar or get all the information. So, you get Minecraft 1, and then you can check um, all these. So, max, max is 100, layers, it's 2, uh, has no one. Um, the value is currently zero because I haven't added any value to it yet. If it was visible, it would say no, I'm pretty sure. Oh, it's shown. Okay. Now let's move on to the uh, the list command. Now boss bar list, basically it'll just get a list of all the boss bars you've created. So currently because I've made one, it should only just list one. And if I added two, there would be two, uh, three, there would be three, etc. So after doing that, uh, remove removes the boss bar. I won't do that um, right now just because um, I don't want to remove the boss bar yet but if you did that and then typed in your boss bar it would remove it. Um, okay now this is where you get well this is where it gets a little bit harder. So this is where you actually start customizing your uh, your score sorry not your scoreboard your boss bar. So after you press set you want to select the you want to select the scoreboard. Why am I saying scoreboard? You want to select the boss bar, and then after selecting that, you come up with a whole bunch of options. Now, first, because we can't actually see it, we want to be able to see it. So you want to select players, and we'll just do at A for now because it means at all players. Press enter, and as you can see, we have a boss bar at the top of the screen. So as you can see, it looks really dull, and it doesn't really do anything because you. When you run around nothing happens um now what we can do is we can after doing that we can change the color so if we went here we could make it blue if we want to and as you can see it kind of changed um the tint of it but it also uh changed the color of the number at the top and then if we wanted to go further with the customization we can also choose how many notches we want and uh, that's in the style. So if I did that and I pressed uh, notched uh, six, you'll see very faintly there's little lines now. It's split up into six sections and um, it's useful to just track progress and stuff. Now to add value to your uh, to add value to your boss bar, what you'd need to do is you need to go value and you just put in your value. So if you did a hundred, it will fill the whole bar up. If I did 50, so if I did that now, you'll notice it'll fill it half up. And if I did 25, it'll fill it 25% up. Now, so also what you can do with this command, so let's just get rid of this, is you can change the uh, visibility and max. So if I did max and I said 150, you'll notice that it will go down a bit. And that's because it's, well, in other words, it's if, you, if it did, it would have been getting longer, but they made it smaller, so it made it go down a bit. Now, let's uh, do name. You can change the name again. So if I went two, I'll go to two. If I did, I think, can you do that? No, you can't. Hi, it won't work because it's letters, but if I did uh, seven, let's say it'll go to seven. So you can see we've got all of these. 
uh, visible. Basically, if I went like that, it'll just disappear, and um, it's not really useful. So I like to keep it true. Okay, so now that we've done that, we can actually uh, go a little bit further with the command block. So uh, hopefully you know how to get a command block. You just have to type in the get command and do the command block. But I simply save it to my toolbar or my um, to my save toolbars just so I can get the block whenever I need it very fast. And it's very useful. So what I need to do is you place it down and let's uh, make it so that every time um, I stand next to this block or stand on a pressure plate next to this block it will change the value to um, 50 so I'd go slash boss bar and I go uh, set minecraft one uh, then I go value uh, what did that whoops let's say 50 here's a pressure plate and if I step on it you'll notice it goes up and then I could also put a command block next to it, so I'll just copy this as well. Set that to 100. So if I step on this command block here, go to 100, and if I step on this one, it'll go to 50. So you can customize it, it's really useful. So that's the simple boss bar uh, command in a nutshell. Um, if you want more like this, please like and subscribe for more. And um, yeah, so if you uh, have any more suggestions, uh, please put them in the comments below. I like to respond to them as seen today when I responded um, to this person. Uh, so thank you so much. And also, if you want me to do a more advanced um, executing video with the scoreboard, because you can actually um, use the values from the scoreboard to execute commands in a command block if it meets the value, um, also comment that down below and I'll happily make one of those videos if you want. Um, but I'm running out of time, so hope to see you in the next video and hope you enjoy. See ya.